Yeah, sure. So, so in, during technical interviews, the one thing that I want to see is a portfolio. I want to see what you've done. You know, show me your org. And if you can't show me your org, show me uh, screenshots of things that you've done. And then I start dissecting uh, the components of the page. And it depends, obviously, what job you're you're filling in. If you're if you're going to be a backend developer, you know, talk to me about the integrations you had. What are your best practices? You know, what do you do to avoid certain scenarios? What do you do to avoid, you know, timeouts? What are you doing to avoid, um, you know, SQL limits? You know, what do you do to avoid, or what do you do to avoid redundancy in your code? You know, and, and show me, um, you know, cut and paste code. Let me, let me go through your code and see what exactly you're doing. And I start, I start asking questions, not picking out problems, but I want to know, I want to know why exactly you, you added three methods to your class, not two. I want to know exactly why you called this method here and not here. Um, I want to know, you know, where are you putting comments? Why are you putting comments? Why aren't you putting comments in your code? Um, you know, things like that. And if you and if you're a front end developer, I want to look at, you know, exactly how what you've built and how you've built it and the the uh, the progression from where you started to where you are now and and sort of what some of the best practices that you put together uh, to build that page. I'm not I'm I'm, I'm a back end developer by trade. I, I did Java. Uh, before I started learning Apex and then I started learning Apex and then I got into a little bit of the visual force stuff. So I'm not the best front end, but I want to see passion. I want to see that you can explain what you did with passion. It's going all the way back to personality. Are you in love with what you're doing? Are you doing what you're doing just because you know it's going to give you a good salary? Are you absolutely passionate about you, what you do? So if I ask somebody a question and then you did this well in your interview, I asked you about, you know, show me the code behind, you know, the component that you build. Okay, so talk to me about this code. And you went down line by line, you know, what you did, some of the mistakes you ran into, and then how you fixed it, and, you know, some of the challenges uh, with um, writing the code in, in this um, language or compared to that. Um, you know, that shows me, wow, this guy really knows what he's talking about. Uh, it's not just, oh, well, I did this because, like, if, if it sounds like you're rehearsing, your responses or it's something because you it's a it's a response that I can tell you got from Google um, because you were prepping for a question that you think you're going to get in, you're going to get asked and during an interview um, then I know right away that you're just you may be knowledgeable but without the passion behind it I don't know if you're really rehearsing this or if you're really understanding what you're talking about because I, I I wouldn't be able to you know so and I also I know I also ask um I also ask for um like like I had you uh, create a a um the approval limits page. So I said, here are my requirements. And I, I took a real requirement from a project that we were working on. And I said, you know, here's a requirement. The user needs to be able to manage these fields from the user record. This is the role. These are, this, these are the data points we need to see. And they need to be able to do it um, one, two, three, and make a lightning, you know, use the lightning um, style class and, you know, make it nice. And here's the name I want you to put on it. And you know, I, I'll give you a couple of hours to do that. And then we'll talk again and just show me what you did and then show me why you did it the way you did. And then we go back into the back end and say, okay, show, show me where your component is talking to an Apex class or show me where your component is, is, is talking to a JavaScript function or something like that. And why did you, why did you put this here in, instead of here? And it's just, I, I want to, and then I want to hear the passion. I want to hear, oh yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, I, I put this here because I know that um, this will talk to this better instead of putting it there. And, you know, I commented this out because I was trying this, but this didn't work out. So I wanted to actually do this. And I'm like, okay, this guy's really getting into it. He's really like, he, you're, you're telling me things that I didn't ask for. And that's exactly what I want to see. I want to see that you have such a passion for this that you just can't stop talking about it. And you just keep going on and on and on. I think with you, I think I only, I think I asked one question and you answered for like 30 minutes. And I said, I didn't even get, I didn't even get a chance to ask anything else. But I like that. I was like, that's amazing because it's not just like, oh yeah, I did that because you know you have to do that. Oh, okay, great. Um, so you know, it's like, oh yeah, I did that because of this. And look at this. And and if you wanted, I can even add this. And it, you didn't ask for this, but I know that I, or I'm anticipating that they might want to be able to do that. So I added this button here. And look at this function. And now look at that. Look at that uh, loader image. Or look at that animation that I added. Or look at these colors. I wanted these colors because I looked at your website and I saw that you guys had black and and green uh logo colors and all that so i added that into like i'm like okay this guy gets it this guy is so passionate about what he does he doesn't just do what he's asked he goes above and beyond 
and then he explains why. So even if I don't completely understand what you're talking about, I can see the passion there. I'm like, okay, this guy has the passion. He definitely uh, is, is, is um, you know, passionate about what he does. And so I, I keep using that word because it's exactly what I use because I'm passionate about what I do. So I need you to be passionate about what you do. So that's exactly what I, what I do uh, during technical interviews. Um, hope that was helpful.